Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Tech Beans. And this is the Redmi K30 5G. That's right, folks. A 5G version of the Redmi K30 I just reviewed a few weeks ago or a month ago. But what's the difference besides the 5G? Well, of course, the newest processor from Qualcomm, the Snapdragon 765 g processor has better charging speed plus liquid cooling thanks to the processor and a slightly upgraded camera system. It competes directly with the Rumi X50. This one. Comparison coming soon. But right now, the big question is, is this worth the purchase? Is it better than the Rumi X50 or is it actually better than the 4G variant? Well, obviously, but by how much? We're gonna find that out right now. And without further ado, let the unboxing begin. No. Okay, so this is exactly the same box as the Redmi K34 G, just with the additional 5G letters right here. 5G, Demon King, 8128, and designed by Redmi. And we have a mini box right here, SIM ejector pin, it's got a manual and the warranty card. It also comes with a jelly case. Got some dirt right there. Must have been already used. I actually opened it earlier just to set it up because we want a faster video. Okay, so <laughs> there's the phone. Let me just put you aside for now. Let's check out what else is in the box. Here's the charger. That's a 30 watt charger. A slight upgrade from the 4G version. The 4G version is only 27 watts. This is 30 watts. So yeah, faster charging for the 5G variant. And of course, the USB Type-C cable. Pretty standard stuff. And that's pretty much it. All right, so here's the phone. And as you can see, it's the same identical design as the 4G. Just that right now, it has this 5G wording right here. But yeah, just like the Redmi K30 4G, it has that Huawei Mate 30-like design with a circle right here, which I simply don't get what that is for. Like, there's no really use for it. In reality, it's just the Redmi Note 8 Pro with a circle. Check that out. Well, it's actually okay. The phone is actually well-built. Gorilla Glass back, Glass 5 to be exact, and yeah, Yes, at the front as well. Gorilla Glass 5. And the body's made out of aluminum. Yeah, it's a very sturdy phone, just like the Rumi X50. And chunkier, it's also very thick. No thanks to that fingerprint scanner at the sides. The color is also simple, it's only blue. No gradient whatsoever. But going back here, it's only the camera at the back, LED flash, and the logo. By the way, the cameras on this thing is pretty good. The rear camera is sporting a 64MP Sony IMX 686 sensor accompanied by an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle lens, 2 megapixel depth sensor, and a 5 megapixel macro sensor. Yes, the 4G version is only 2 megapixels for the macro lens, while the 5G version has a 5 megapixel macro lens. So actually, I already took some photos on this, and oh my god, it is so, so much better than the Rumi X50. I am telling you right now, this is almost DSLR-like level. So much detail, just so beautiful. But more of that in a bit. Let us check out what else the phone has at the sides. Okay, so right below it has a headphone jack, USB Type-C port, microphone, and a loudspeaker. At the top, you get an IR blaster and a noise-canceling microphone. At the right side, you get the volume rockers and the power button, which is also a fingerprint scanner. And at the left side, you only get the SIM tray, which is a, oh, only a dual nano SIM card slot, no micro SD card slot for expandable storage. But the 4G version has one. Bummer. So let me just check. Yes, the 4G has it, so. But no worries, it's still the same great display as the Redmi K30 4G. That is an almost 6.7 inch, 120 hertz refresh rate, IPS LCD display with HDR10, and it's already 1080p, so. So yeah, in terms of the display speed, it is as fast as the Rumi X50. Yes, it is fast, swiping left and right is very smooth and fluid. Swipe down, swipe left and right, opening apps. Oh my God, it is super fast. And just like what I told you on my previous video, everything that your eyes is gonna see is just gonna be so much faster. You can feel it when you're scrolling on Facebook or in the camera app. This video is recorded in 60 FPS. So although what I'm about to tell you is gonna blow your mind, the Rumi X50 is actually faster or smoother than the Redmi K30. I don't know, there's something about the Rumi UI that improved the interface or how things move or open in the phone. Yes, it's not as snappy or as smooth as the Rumi X50. And I'm gonna show that to you in an upcoming video, Rumi X50 versus the Redmi K30 5G. Now when playing games, it's actually the same as the Rumi X50. It does have HFR mode, 
right out of the box. That is the great thing about the Snapdragon 765. And the graphics is pretty good. Very nice colors indeed. Although I prefer the colors on the Realme X50 some more. Just check out my Realme X50 video. Maybe it's just the display. I, I don't know. Or how things are calibrated on the display. But so far so good. The performance is pretty much the same as the Realme X50. It is a pretty fun lag free experience. And also you get ultra graphics. So now as for PUBG, well, it's the same thing as the Realme X50. HD graphics and high frame rates by default. So you're not gonna be able to experience the full potential of the phone with just this. But don't worry, updates are sure to come and I'm pretty sure it can handle more than this. HDR graphics, extreme frame rates. How do I know this? Well, it's right here. And two to benchmark score, 318,000 points Oh my god, that, that is almost last year's Snapdragon 855 performance. So yeah, it's bringing flagship performance in a mid-range device. And since we have the GFX tool, I unlocked everything right here. HDR, extreme frame rates, anti-aliasing. And as you can see, it's a lot more smoother. The graphics is just so much better. And the phone is not really that struggling at all. It can definitely run PUBG, no problem at max settings. See that? Very smooth. I mean, 2019, we're still experiencing a little bit of lag, especially at this part, but Today, in 2020, with the newest phones and processors, you're gonna experience this kind of smoothness. Again, 60 FPS, change the resolution right there at the settings to see the difference. Check this out. Oh my God, very smooth. Oh my God. This does look like a real PC game. The graphics is just so good looking. How does it sound? Um, it's okay. It doesn't have the same range and sound quality as the Rumi X50. Well, that's because the Rumi X50 has Dolby Atmos. This does not. But still, the graphics is pretty good. It's one of the best I've seen so far. Now, how can we forget about the display? It's a punch hole display. So is the Rumi X50. The punch hole is just placed at the other side. It is a mirror version of the Rumi X50. Oh my God, it's like copy paste and then photoshopped. But yeah, Xiaomi was the first on this, so it, it was Rumi who pretty much like copied the, this kind of design. And what about the experience? Well, it is uh, it is actually distracting if you're not used to this kind of display. I mean, there's a hole up here and the content is around that hole. So it's kind of weird. But yes, it's just like any device that you're new from, it takes some time getting used to. And no, it's not covering any information right here at the top. Let us check if 4G works on this thing. Hopefully it does. And there you go, 4G. So just perfect. I'm not really sure if this is going to be sold here in the Philippines because 5G has not yet come to our country, but Globe and Smart are at it. And I think pretty soon we'll experience 5G in our country. It's gonna open so much opportunities in technology. Really exciting stuff here in 2020. But yeah, let's wrap up this video with the camera. Here are some of the photos I took with this phone. And as you can see, the pictures are really sharp. My friends, this is a tiny sensor, but as you can see, so much detail has been retained. Like I told you before, it's like DSLR-like level already. And if you watch my Realme X50 video, you can definitely tell that this is just so much better than the Realme X50. I'm telling you, it's not really close. When it comes to image quality, it is the best that you can find out there right now. And it's the only thing that has the Sony IMX686 sensor, this in the 4G of course, which all means it's the best camera around. And even the camera app is jam-packed with features. It even has the vlog mode from the Mino 10, macro, slow motion, 64MP, and it's even got raw mode. Professional high quality photos and edit them to your heart's content. And I forgot to mention this, although the Redmi K35G has a dual selfie camera system, it doesn't have an ultra wide angle lens. That is actually only a depth sensor, no ultra wide angle, so not as useful as the Rumi X50's ultra wide angle lens. This is 1080p at 60 frames per second. As you can see, it's a little bit jaggy or shaky. I don't know, it doesn't seem to have stabilization on in 60 frames per second, but in 30 FPS, it kicks in and it looks very smooth, but it's not as smooth as the one on the Rumi X50. That is like GoPro stabilization. And I know, I just keep mentioning the Rumi X50 on this video, well, it actually makes sense because both phones are very similar in many ways. And these two phones are gonna be fighting for your hard-earned cash. But first, the price on the Redmi K35G is also priced very similarly. Oh my God. The Redmi K35G is a premature phone, just like the Realme X50. It could use a lot more optimization for you to get the best experience on this phone. For some apps, it's pretty irrelevant. But definitely, go get this phone if you're just for the camera. For a video, I would highly recommend you go with the Realme X50. Wait, is this already the comparison? This is actually the comparison. What am I saying? So yeah, go get the Realme X50 
right now. Nah, I'm just kidding. Don't get triggered. We still got one more video to go. The full comparison between the Redmi K35 G and the Realme X50. So why don't you come and get triggered in the next video? Just subscribe, hit that bell icon so that you don't miss it. This is Vincent from Tech Beans, and I'll see you on the next video.